If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got Autumn Blast Part 2 revealed. Blitz promo, plenty of stuff. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video, guys. These LTDs are quick. I'm going to do them in, like, literally 45 seconds. I want to get them through them quickly because we have plenty of other stuff that's probably more important to be going over. But for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we got considering uh, considered comp. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support. If you guys need coins for Autumn Blast Part 2, Autumn Blast Part 1, or the Blitz, which you're probably going to need some stuff for, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 15% off your order. Take advantage of the Blitz and Harvest discounts. Now, let's get into this. Shaquille Griffin, 93 speed, 92 agility, 92 zone, 88 man, 89 press. That's what matters. Chemmed up, powered up, and everything. Going to be all threshold, 94 speed. Going to be one of the best cornerbacks in the game, of course. So definitely check him out. Next, we got Tyler Boyd. Not bad at all. We'll get all the route running thresholds. We'll have a 92 speed powered up. So technically, all you need is to go deep on him. And he's going to be a pretty good wide receiver. Not bad because Tyler Boyd typically gets bad speed. So 92 speed on him. I'll take that powered up and chemmed up. Now let's get into this, guys. So these are the low guys for Autumn Blast Part 2. We got Ben uh, Gideon. Gideon. Jacob, Jacob Johnson, Jacob Johnson, Cleland Farrell, Michael Jordan, Nicholas Morrow, Sam Tevy. Uh, let's see, next we got Eric Rowe, Rashad Higgins, William Golston, Antonio Gibson, Gerard Wilson, and Trey Burton. Now we got Whitney Merciless, guys. Um, let's see, as a pass rusher, he's got decent power move, bad block, should low speed, not great. We got James Daniels, 82 strength, 84 pass block, 81 pass block power. Uh, he's going to be a very well-rounded, maybe budget budget guard, maybe get him for free out of something, but that's about it. Jimmy Smith, slow, bad zone, bad man, high press. He can press all he wants. He can't play man or zone. Uh, this card is not that great at all. Next, we have Jameson Crowder. Now, it's kind of weird. Jameson Crowder is supposed to be a speedy receiver, and he has 89 speed. He has really bad route running, bad catching, bad spec catch. So far, these cards lower have been pretty ass. Jordan Poyer, 88 speed, 88 zone. Now, he's going to be decent, I guess. Powered up and coming up on like a Bill Steam team. Maybe him and Micah Hyde together will have a pretty decent safety duo, but I don't think he's that great personally. Ryan Kelly, center for the Indianapolis Colts. Well-rounded, again, budget, pass uh, pass blocker. Going to have all mid to high 80 pass blocking stuff. Mid to low 80 uh, run blocking, not bad. Next, we got Von Miller, guys. This is the new automaces. Remember, we had the original four automaces, like the Pat Pete in them. Now, this is one of the new four. So, we got Von Miller. 86 speed, 87 excel, 81 strength, 90 tackle, 93 play rec, 91 block shed, 91 power move, and 88 finesse move. So, power from Kemp, guys, he's going to be one of the best pass rushers in the game. Going to be super athletic, great block shed, great power move, and great play rec. Um, obviously, I'll be making a video going later going over the best ones to choose, but Von Miller is definitely looking super, super beastly in terms of that. Daniel Hunter, 86 speed, 89 excel, 78 strength, 87 tackle, 92 play rec, 87 block shed, 86 power move, 93 finesse move. Now, he would be better than uh, Von Miller if he had to block shit up. So if you can max out run stuff on him, guys, and you get his block shit up above a 90, and you have him at an 87 speed with 90 XL, he's going to be super crazy with a 94 finesse move. Or if you just want a pure pass rusher, you guys put a uh, pass rush on him. You probably get his finesse move up to like a 99 or like a 98. He will be one of the best pass rushers in the game. The Hunter looks really, really solid. Uh, Austin Hooper, tight end for the Cleveland Browns. Not horrible. 85 speed, 74 strength, 93 catch. 89 catch in traffic, 88 spectacular catch, 90 short route running, 88 medium route running, and 72 run block. So, of course, powered from chemmed up with play fake. He will have the route running threshold. He'll have 86 speed, 94 catching, 90 catch in traffic, and he'll have a 89, potentially 90 spec catch. So, he's decent. I personally wouldn't rock with him, but, again, still free. Aaron Jones, the last one of the cards you could pick for free. 90 speed, 92 excel, 92 agility, 93 carrying, 68 catching, 91 change of direction. 83 trucking, 85 break tackle. Now overall, Aaron Jones is average. I wouldn't, I wouldn't personally use him. 91 speed powered up is decent, but again, not a super great power back. Um, a decent agility type back, like good, not great. And of course, the speed isn't all there, so I'm gonna have to pass. Moving on next, guys, for our master, we have Night Train Lane. Night Train Lane cornerback for the Detroit Lions. I feel like they've used the same picture of Night Train Lane for his entire career. I'm starting to think that they only had one camera that took one singular picture of this man. That picture must be in the Hall of Fame somewhere because they really only use one. But Nitro and Lane, 91 speed, 92 excel, 92 agility, 92 jumping, 90 play rec, 93 man, 90 zone, 91 press. Now here's the thing with Nitro and Lane. He's one of the most physical, dominant corners typically in Madden. So despite his speed only getting to a 92 powered up, remember he will have like a 95 to 90 hit power, which is crazy. Remember he will have good blocks to stop the run. 
Remember, he'll be super tall. He'll be like um, Deion Sanders with a ball in his hand, super athletic. Nitro Lane's always one of the greatest cards in the game. So, you definitely want to get some coins and scoop up some Nitro Lane because you know he's going to be fire and Madden. Line him up with Dion, line him up with Champ, line him up with uh, DRC, line him up with whoever you want. That Nitro Lane's going to get the job done. Kemped up and powered up. You can get his Mance like a 99. You can get his Press like a 97. His Zone's like a 95, 96. He's going to be so locked down. The only thing is, I wish he had one plus more speed. Like, I wish he got to a 93 speed versus 92. But, nonetheless, Nitro Lane always feels great because he has, it's like a Richard Sherman effect. He has the height and the physicality. So, despite him being slightly slower, he always plays a bit faster. Next, guys, we have Madden Gathering New Solos. Uh, play these cooperative only solo challenge or squads event, guys. So, these are co-op challenge. You have to play with more than one person. It's already 80 overall Autumn Ace that you can upgrade to 92. So, you get another free one, guys. This is going to be where you can pick the Von Miller, the Neil Hunter, Austin Hooper, or the Aaron Jones. Moving on from that one, guys, we do have... Uh, earn the 80 automated mission style so thing for it. You have to play with two to three players, so make sure to check that out. Next, guys, moving on to the next screenshot. Let's see if we skip one through. The Turkey Bowl. It's kids versus dads with the coveted Turkey Bowl trophy ch champions. Win the Turkey Bowl to earn this trophy, and and the trophy will turn into a random autumn bass player at 8 p.m. on November 26. So you're gonna get a free player. So make sure you uh, you know you go get that done. Next, guys, they did just confirm the Blitz promo. Earn Blitz currency through milestone reward. Blitz currency and Blitz promo will start. November 26th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So make sure you are around your Xbox at that time. It's going to be super important to be around to see if you can get something done out of that. So, guys, that's cool. We do get a Blitz. I just made a video yesterday going over what to expect from the Blitz. So go watch that if you guys want to know how these typically go. But, yes, Blitz is confirmed. That is super, super cool. Blitz Bolts, as per usual, that is going to be the stuff for it. That is going to be the currency up there. Definitely looks great. Um, of course, we got this one again. So here we go, exchange, you know, four, uh, 92, 94, I'm sorry, 92 overall automations for Nitro and Lane. We got that. Now, Madden the Gathering Souls, these are the ones that are co-op, and these are going to be the ones that you're going to want to be getting done. So you get the 20 leaves, 50 leaves, 50 leaves, and um, Crayola did confirm. If you do go ahead and do all the Madden the Gathering Souls, you get 2,350, so 2,350 ball and leaves, which isn't a ton, but that's that's not bad, because that's close to something for free. So make sure you're getting that done. 20, 50, again, we have 50, 100, 200, you know, it keeps going up. Gather one, gather all, gather around with mud friends to conquer this wholesome challenge. Um, right here, okay, this is kind of a glitch screenshot. So then for these when the turkey bowl, you do get a head start on blitz bowls, which are gonna be kind of cool for that first offering they do offer at 8 p.m. So 20 blitz bolts, 50, 50, autumn blast, uniforms, 100, 100. Make sure you're getting that done, guys. 100, 100, 200, because typically they do do offers that you need blitz bolts to do, like for special packs, special players. And if you have early blitz bolts, you'll have an advantage of maybe doing it and selling the card quickly. And then here we have the turkey bowl, which I was talking about. Make sure you're getting that done. Gain 15 plus yards this drive. Perform a ball carry move. Like that is the easiest. Literally, all you have to do is just throw like a streak and then do it, do a um or a slant and then just do a juke at the end of it. It's super simple to get done. Next, guys, we have Thanksgiving squads. This is like the the gathering event, which is also the co-op thing we're talking about. Spend quality time with traditional college overtime rules. Come back each day. You get a free food uh, feast, food collectibles. So make sure you're getting that done. So you get food collectibles. Three total wins, one collectible, and this lasts however long this does last on. So make sure you're getting that done. Next, guys, we have um, Master Night Train Lane. This is the set. Of course, you get all four back as Nat. So I'm probably going to be doing this set for my Night Train Lane because I do want to get those four players back. I don't know if I'll start any of them besides maybe I'll probably start Von Miller and maybe Daniel Hunter, actually. I'll start Von Miller and Daniel Hunter, and then I could get Night Train Lane, of course, starting. So it seems like a very, really, uh, really good set. So I'm just going to have to go ahead and do my solos, though, so I can get the free autumn ace and then go ahead and do that. But. Yeah, so far, guys, the reveal's looking super solid. This is the set. Of course, you know you know how this stuff looks. But that pretty much wraps up today's video. Of course, we have the LTDs. We have the uh, this part two and some other stuff, which I'll probably do a separate video going over some other stuff later. But yeah, the reveal was cool. I really do like Autumn. I think Autumn Blast Part 2 is way better than Autumn Blast Part 1. We have a ton of good players. We have a Blitz coming the 26th, so make sure you are staying tuned for that, guys. But yeah, that's about it for the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn on that notification bell if you want to join the Poodle Squad. Comment down below, Poodle Squad, and like the video. If you guys need coins or any of this stuff, head over to Mart Reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 15% off. But definitely take advantage of the coins, guys. I'm telling you, you're going to need a lot of coins for this promo. And then Blitz, I don't know how they're going to do that yet, but they'll probably maybe even do some Blitz currency on there as a thing, too. So take advantage of all the discounts. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. I will probably do one more video for you guys today, so stay tuned for that. Let me know down below what you guys want to see. I have an idea, but in case you guys have anything else, let me know. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.